The operation is division, so it's the first rational expression times the reciprocal of the second rational expression. As I do this, I'm going to go ahead and start factoring because that will help us when we simplify. So the first numerator, that's the difference of two squares, I can write that as x plus 3 times x minus 3. What about that first denominator? There's a common factor of x that I can factor out. Don't forget that factoring out a common factor, if there is one, other than 1 or negative 1 is the first step in factoring any polynomial. That's x squared minus 3x. I can factor no further. Now I'll make this multiplication so I will take the reciprocal of the second rational expression and at the same time I'm going to go ahead and start factoring. What about this denominator which will become this numerator? There's a common factor of 2. I'll factor it out and it's x plus 5, and this numerator, which will become this denominator, I'll start factoring. It's a 1, 2, 3, 4 term polynomial, so I'll factor by grouping. Let's look at the first two factors. There's a common factor of x that I can factor out, and I'm left with y plus 5. Second pair of terms, common factor of 3, and I'm left with y plus 5. Now, I have not finished factoring here. I have not written as a product. I've only written as a sum. So I will continue factoring down there. But how do you multiply? It's numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. So let me go ahead and write it that way. Numerator x plus 3 times x minus 3 times numerator, that's 2 times x plus 5, all over denominator x times x minus 3 times denominator, and now I'll finish factoring this original four-term polynomial. In these two terms, notice there's a common factor of y plus 5 that I will factor out, and then when I do so, I have left x plus 3. All right, let's now see, since everything is factored, by the way, this is my quotient, but I'm now simplifying the quotient. Let's divide out common factors, x plus 3 and x plus 3, y plus 5, and excuse me, that's x plus 5, so I can't factor those two factors out. For a moment there, I thought I could, but I can't. What about x minus 3 and x minus 3? Do I have any other common factors common to the numerator and common to the denominator? The answer is no, so let's write down our quotient. In the numerator, I have 2 times x plus 5, and in the denominator, I have x times y plus 5. There is my result in simplest form.